my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, let's talk about why people online are recommending you to stop brushing your teeth. And before we get started, a quick shout out to the Teeth Talk Patreon and the YouTube members here who support this channel. I love that you are part of my mission on spreading evidence-based dental health information. Let's jump in. Why are people saying that brushing your teeth is damaging your gums? Well, if you brush incorrectly, meaning you're using anything other than a soft or extra soft bristle toothbrush, you never wanna use medium or firm, or if you're brushing using the incorrect technique, such as scrub brushing back and forth, then yes, you can damage your gums because you're brushing wrong. I will link my tutorial videos to help you confirm that you're not doing it wrong. But really, it takes a lot to do it wrong. I wouldn't worry too much about it unless you know that you have a heavy hand when brushing or if your dentist and or dental hygienist has been concerned that your gums are receding or if you notice that you clench or grind your teeth, some reasons you might want to be extra cautious. If you're questioning it though, you think you might be brushing too hard, maybe consider an electric toothbrush with a pressure sensor because then it will alert you if you're pressing too hard and then you can easily readjust. But for the purpose of this video, I'm more trying to debunk a myth because many people online have started this new narrative that brushing your teeth causes gum disease. And honestly, they got it twisted. Hear me out. There's plaque bacteria and or tartar bacteria stuck on your teeth. It triggers an immune response, right? Inflammation happens, which gives you swollen red bleeding gums, which is gingivitis. On top of that, this plaque bacteria, if it's not being brushed and flawed, off daily at home, then it turns into tartar. And this tartar bacteria continues to multiply and divide and harden and go under the gums, where I always explain it to my patients as a bad, dirty bacteria party under the gums, which is damaging and eating away at the bone that holds in your teeth, giving you gum disease, which makes everything loose and unhealthy, right? Gum disease leads to tooth loss. So not brushing your teeth, leaving this plaque bacteria on your teeth is what damages your gums and gives you gum disease. Don't get it twisted. The toothbrush isn't damaging your gums. It's preventing your gums from being damaged. So to tell people to stop brushing, this is dangerous to dental health. It really is. It's okay to tell people to stop brushing wrong, to stop using the incorrect brushing techniques, but don't stop. Brushing and flossing, don't forget about the flossing and or cleaning between your teeth daily at home, is extremely important to help prevent your gums from damage. I was curious where this narrative started, and it seems as if those who are are telling you to stop brushing are also selling their own products, such as mouthwash that they are saying replaces brushing. Conflict of interest, right? Mouthwash cannot replace brushing. Can it be a nice addition to your oral care routine? Sure, but removing the toothbrush, no. And one more thing, in some mouths, plaque turns into tartar really, really fast, quickly, within 24 hours. So if you skip one night of brushing or one night of flossing, the manual removal of plaque doesn't happen for one day, tartar is starting to form in those areas. Whereas other mouths might take 48 to 72 hours for that plaque to turn into tartar, it's hard to give you an exact answer of how long it would take for your individual mouth. Regardless, buildup on teeth is what damages your gums. So not removing it, not brushing your teeth because you think the toothbrush is going to damage your gums. No, it's the opposite. Not brushing off the buildup is what damages your gums. I will link sources in the description box below. Not only is this evidence-based that toothbrushing helps reduce your chances of gum disease and gingivitis, but it also just makes sense, right? When that gunk is stuck on your teeth, it's bad gunk, you don't want it there, and swishing with mouthwash isn't going to effectively remove it. You need to manually remove it with a toothbrush, as well as floss and or water floss or interdental brush, something for the spots between your teeth as well. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And again, I want to thank the YouTube members here and the Patreon members supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you want to join the fight and making sure evidence-based dental health information is being shared online. Become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth. Keep brushing those teeth.